Hello again, welcome back. Midweek wine. Excuse me as I take off my screw cap. They don't bug me, don't let them bug you. Portugal, along with Greece, are two of the most interesting countries in the world in terms of wine producers. Why? Because they stayed faithful to their indigenous grapes. These are the grapes that uh, have been grown historically in the place. One of those grapes in Portugal is called Castelau. I hope I'm pronouncing it properly. For all you Portuguese, if I'm not, send me a letter. Castelau is the second most grown grape in Portugal. It's grown throughout the entire country, but one place where it grows best is down in the south, in the peninsula of Chetubal. What does it give you? Well, it's a very dark-fruited grape, but it has great acidity, great freshness, and considering the heat of southern Portugal, that is important. So what we have here is the JMF from uh, Jose Maria de Fonseca. Beautiful example of Castellau with a little bit of aragonese, which is tempranillo for all you Spanish people out there. What do you get? Dark fruit. Something figgy, but beautiful richness, great freshness, no oak, and best of all, completely dry, which is hard to find in an inexpensive wine. How inexpensive? Under 10 bucks. 9.95. There you go. JMF, Portugal, Castellau. Talk to you next week.